this is the Eclipse Touch Mouse. It's just turned up, in fact. And there it is. Very, very nice brushed metal mouse buttons on the front. It's extremely slim line. And it's got a bit of a nod to the kind of Apple keyboard design there. Obviously the mouse is intended to be used this way. With the bump at the back. Now clearly this is where you put the batteries or in fact the battery as the case may be right, got the battery out of the packaging pop it in right, the touch mouse is now alive hit upon the first problem with the touch mouse and that's this, it's a mini CD and CDs of this size just will not work in slot loading CD drives so the iMac, the MacBook, MacBook Pro are all out despite the fact that it clearly says it supports Mac on the back of the box let me have a look here right let's see what this thing can do indeed the central mouse wheel you might be able to see is a little touch sensitive pad. The rest of the surface of the mouse is not touch sensitive. Now I thought when I first heard about this mouse that the entire top surface, much like the Magic Mouse, would be touch sensitive. But in fact, like the original Cytec Obsidan mouse, um, which was a very bizarrely shaped mouse that took interchangeable circular batteries, uh, it just has a touch pad that's in the middle where the scroll wheel would otherwise be. And that allows you to scroll up and scroll down. No kinetic scrolling, at least not in Windows XP. So it's immediately lost the kind of single best feature about the Magic Mouse, which obviously is the kinetic scrolling. Being able to flick through a web page in no time at all is very comfortable, very handy, and kind of very reminiscent of actual touch devices. Whereas this feels like a poor scroll wheel. Let's see if we can find something we can horizontally scroll on. Again, it's not kinetic. It's a little bit crudgy because the because the button is slightly narrower than it is tall. When it actually comes to horizontal scrolling, you've got very little room to move your finger. Now, just to give you a bit of comparison, here's the Magic Mouse. You'll see just how responsive the Magic Mouse is in comparison to the touch mouse and you'll also see that kinetic scrolling overall the touch mouse is quite an attractive if you like this sort of build wireless laptop mouse it will slip easily into a bag it's nice and sleek, nice and thin, only takes one battery as well so you can always carry a couple around for spares um, it's a laser mouse so it's got a reasonably high level of precision the only real downside is that its namesake, the touch sensitivity, is not terribly exciting. Not anything to buy this mouse for. If that's your reason for being interested in this mouse, well, forget it really. If you like a mouse that's attractive, it's got this nice brushed metal style on here, nice machined metal ends on here, and obviously very compact if you want a mouse to carry around with your laptop because you can't stand trackpads, then it's a pretty good choice. But again, if you looking for a touch sensitive mouse if you've got a Mac get the magic mouse simple as that if you've got a PC then this isn't it really but it's better than nothing and there you go really that's the Eclipse touch mouse from Mad Cats